uh, so then MIPS as an example, Alexander Kamkin, I represent the uh, Institute of Systemic uh, Programming of the Russian Academy, Acon uh, Academy of Sciences. Uh, I had a small a team, a verification of microprocessors team, so we developed the technologies of verification of microprocessors and other digital equipment. Uh, uh, what has uh, 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 software engineering uh, got to do with it? So a lot of pro a lot of presentations uh, so have had to do with microprocessors. So, so yes, I'm going to talk about them as well. Uh, it's obvious when you design a microprocessor, many mistakes are made, and they need to be identified during the design stage, uh, before production. <coughs> And uh, so you know that, uh, uh, so you know very well, so the mistakes uh, in uh, in uh, this uh, floating point uh, division of, uh, so then the errata of uh, modern, uh, modern microprocessors, there are hundreds of errors, uh, so verification is necessary, hundreds of mistakes, hundreds of errors. And uh, so then we, when the module of, uh, so the divisioning with floating point, uh, so is done uh, separately, then it could be done at the systemic level, where the microprocessor or system on the crystal is verified uh, in one go. And uh, so this type of verification I want to talk about. Uh, so the basic approach to the systemic level verification with the help of test programs is done. Well, what's a test program? Uh, so test program is, is the program that is a Sandra language uh, and uh, developed uh, uh, or generate especially for the testing purposes. So the main uh, purpose of these programs to do the different situations uh, for the operation of a microprocessor, just to cover it so from all sides, uh, uh, so to cover its log logic. So the method, it's a uh, different methods, usually they are ran randomized, uh, are arbitrary technologies, uh, limitations, constraints, systems, and then uh, different iteration approaches. And the, uh, the final program, uh, so is uh, uh, is uploaded into the test, uh, uh, the test uh, uh, into the into the processor which is being tested, and then uh, and then emulator and a simulator. So then and then the result is traces, traces as the sequences of events, uh, uh, which occur when the program is executed by the microprocessor. What are events? So reading, uh, uh, so then going to memory, etc. Ex ex extraordinary decisions. Situations. So then, that this has special program, which is called the tracing comp comp comparator, comparator, and, and then if there is a mistake or an error, so then we try to understand what what this, uh, how to develop this test generator. It's obvious that to, to develop this test generator for any architecture, you need uh, uh, information about the architecture to somehow represent it in this generator. And then we need to think how to process this generation and have parameters for that. And all the generators, so they are different by, they're different. What kind of information is presented to the generator and how it's processed there? So usually, mm, uh, uh, usually in, in our experience, so an in interaction with Russian companies, this information is in, uh, is, uh, uh, is a syntax. Uh, it's, it's about the uh, like CD uh, uh, operations, uh, and there are some additional. It's syntax information. It's uh, attribute type information. Uh, uh, att attribute type. Uh, so, but then, by the way, how, how it's uh, so then uh, uh, randomized technology is used to process this information. So, what what the problems are? So, if you use only syntax information or syntax information. Uh, so, first, uh, if you do not use uh, the semantics, uh, so you can always face the situation with unpredictable behavior. And uh, so then, uh, in, uh, the, in the in the in the guide uh, for. Uh, in, in, in the guide for the uh, incorrect commands, so it says unpredictable. Mm. And the second, you can just go to non-initialized data, uh, uh, something similar to, maybe it's not, uh, it's not that scary, but, uh, but there are some complications to follow about uh, c comparing traces. We need to avoid that. Mm. Then, uh, so then it's uh, uh, fixing. So when it goes back and back and just uh, turns around the same thing. Then the basis of this sy syntax information very difficult to uh, uh, to properly uh, uh, so put the generation into the proper uh, trace. Um, how to how to ch and how to manage generator if you don't have any semantics. And then on the basis of syntax information, you cannot generate program with with uh, self checking tests. What we suggest we need to take into consideration the semantics uh, when you do the test programs. Uh, so then. Uh, so the IBM just uh, was involved in it, uh, so generated generous approach, so widely known generator. And so we're in contact with the group that's developing it. And there is no time just to compare our solution with the IBM solution. We have no time for that to compare. And then the, but throughout it is very important. So at, an, and at the intellectual level, it's similar. 
Then uh, there are two types of input information, uh, specifications and the templates, the test templates. Uh, uh, specifications is stable, uh, so it's developed once for the architecture and, and it's not changed. Uh, so they're fixed for the architecture. Specifications are input to the translator. Translator analyzes specifications, builds models of the microprocessor. And then this model is used uh, uh, for the uh, so then the, uh, then the test uh, templates. Uh, the test templates uh, if it's, a, it's a high level description of the ver verification scenarios. Um, let's say imagine that's, that's the program. If this assembly assembly program, if uh, you do not reflect there, uh, so then uh, test data, register numbers, uh, then about point only some limitations uh, or constraints, then you will get a certain general idea of what the test template is. Uh. Then the test uh, template is input into the generator, so then the generator in several runs uh, builds a, a flat server code that can be uh, uh, so uploaded into the microprocessor and check its uh, correctness. An example, what the specifications look like? So we suggest to use semantic information. Specifications are written in NML language. NML is an old language developed in the Technical University of Berlin at the beginning of the 90s and uh, we modified it a little bit and we support the VIF architecture which is uh, was not supported. You can see that uh, uh, for uh, uh, on NML you can reflect information that user described in pseudocode in the command system. The assembler format, the binary coding and, and then ex ex execute detections. So you can see there's original conditions uh, or the other and exclusive situations, uh, emergency situations are described. This information may be used if we want to uh, put the microprocessor into a situation whereby uh, there uh, increases emergency situations with overflow. You can use the technology of uh, allowing uh, the uh, to, to override limitations and, and do the execution anyway. Uh, and th so then the subsystem memory is not described here because we developed a special language, specific language animal cell and that allows to quickly describe such components of virtual memory as, uh, as, as um, cache, cache memory modules etc. So this is a special language. It's not an NML, it's a special small language. The templates uh, for the test programs are, are written in Ruby. Mm. Ruby is, is, is a famous uh, known object-oriented language for programming. It's good. And specifically, we're using this uh, Ruby, so it can generate uh, again, ma methods. So, so the first phase of the, of the analysis of test processing uh, of the template, the generator uh, uh, looks at the meta information and then generates uh, the, the instructions. Then Ruby can be used as a standard assembly machine. So you can see that it turns to instructions, uh, for example, the uh, so subtraction and adding, so they look exactly. And then uh, there, is a, there are different features uh, for uh, related to the generation of test programs. This is uh, defining a prologue, epilogue uh, of the test program. And then it's uh, setting the, uh, the situations, events, uh, and blocks. And so a block is the, the main micro test program that sets limitations for this sequence of, of test programs. Hmm. So here, for example, block uh, contains two blocks, each one. Uh, 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 so then iterates uh, one element sequence. So then outside uh, block tells what to do. So decart, uh, 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 so then uh, often, so there are four sequences. For each of the sequences they build, uh, they generate test data and then initializing code is generated. And then in conclusion, uh, so then using formal specifications allow to get high level of automation. Uh, of the verification. Then there's uh, formal specifications allowed to flexibly tune the generator for different architectures. So that's exactly what we need to identify the specification, uh, verification of the system of commands. And uh, uh, so it's expandable uh, uh, and it's uh, scalable. So additional com uh, so generators of test uh, generators, etc. other components can be included. Uh, the core is open, uh, open source. It's supported by uh, by different. Uh, there's a library of specifications. MIPS, for example, there as well. So we have specified 250 instructions. Uh, mm.
And uh, if you take the sixth edition, uh, it's not an exhaustive specification, but specifics of a specific object, uh, project. And there's a support arms, uh, arms specifications are supported. Then they work on PowerPC. And uh, then uh, we'll be discussing uh, so educational projects jointly with Matt. Uh, and they want to use Microtask uh, for uh, for education, training students. So I plan to, uh, to do this uh, Risk V uh, open project. We plan to do. And then, uh, so where are we the goal? In the future, and then, and I want just to, to advertise this open conference of Russian Academy of Sciences 2016. Using this advantage, uh, uh, this opportunity, please come. Uh, so then, uh, December uh, 1st and 2nd, and 2016. So we plan. There was a little bit of exhibition. So you will see how. Uh, so then, Microtask operates uh, in Teralia. Uh, so please welcome, come. Uh, then, um, uh, so then the core is open source for downloading. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's thank the speaker. Questions? I have a question. Uh, and then there is a slide uh, that we saw fleetingly. Uh, the thing is that uh, uh, all these test generators, uh, uh, for them to be efficient, they need to operate jointly with with uh, 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 with coverage check. Uh, coverage check. Uh, and. Uh, and your tests don't don't reveal that that your tests cover cover the entire environment, uh, the whole ambience and, and scenarios. Uh, so then in the middle, uh, so there was this uh, line about coverage. Uh, uh, could you could you what are you going to plan? What what do you plan to do about coverage? Uh, so I can uh, tell you that uh, all we have available is is uh, architecture specification. So coverage may be evaluated only at the instructions level. Uh, at the at the guidelines level, so that's because there's no information in this generator about uh, the model, so we cannot uh, uh, watch down the structural uh, coverage. But at the architectural level, the level of architecture, so we can just check the coverage the simplicity. So then branches of functionality in different instructions, and then we think how to how to uh, so how to evaluate hazards and coverage and everything. So then coverage for groups of instructions, dependencies. Etc. We're thinking about that. So now, just we can, we can generate tests uh, uh, targeted at different matrices, matrices of coverage. Uh, so coverage of branches for each instruction. Uh, so without uh, looking at the, uh, at the chains and, and their interaction. In November, just we'll we'll talk about it. So they want to identify coverage at the level of, of chains. So met matrix. Uh, so for the for the cyclic solvents. So we're working on it and. Uh, all chains, uh, chains. Uh, so. Actually, so such metrics, the metrics, uh, we're using such metrics as well. Such metrics we use, right? I know that we, we use them some time ago. Okay, any more questions? Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for. So now the next. Now next.